What's up, everyone? This is Rayuki here, and today I'm going to talk about Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle yet again. So, I'm going to do a quick recap, and then I'm going to push forward from there. So, a while ago, for those who don't know, our system works announced that Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle will have 20 character DLC. Yes, 20 characters, because it can't be one, it can't be eight, it has to be 20. And then they received backlash for it, and that story played out in its own way. Fast forward to the future. Japan Evo 2018 happened. Mori had a little announcement to make, and that was out of the 20 characters, two will be free, which are Ruby characters, and sort of along the lines of asking people to support this game and pre order it. And kind of grinned and almost chuckled a bit here and there about it. It almost seemed like he was joking about it in some sort of twisted way. And then that was pretty much it. And during, excuse me, because I almost left this out, a Twitch live stream, they also announced. That Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle will have some form of English dub. Hmm. Yeah. So now that I got that out of the way, uh, I want to make clear I'll be giving my opinion, possibly going on a rant. And I want to also make clear that I do not speak on the behalf of this community. I speak on my own behalf. So it is what it is. Now I'm going to start this. So, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle right now to me is a other joke and it's a other mess. It really is. Now you're probably wondering why I'm saying this. Well, there's still a 20 character DLC. I'm still not going to purchase this game. I have no intentions on purchasing this game whatsoever. It's not getting my damn money. Uh, and the fact that they're almost making it seem like it's it's kind of like, like oh we're sorry. So we're going to give you these two DLC characters. I'm pretty sure though, if no one was to say anything, those two Ruby characters would have been paid for characters. But because there was backlash, they kind of backed down a bit. And they're like, you know something, let's just give them these two and hope that they forgive us. Now, I have to say, that's not enough. It really isn't. In my opinion, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle should be completely delayed. And maybe instead of having 20 character DLC, maybe adding those 20 into the game, which will release the game with 40 characters. And if they use their brains, if Team Blue use the brain a bit, right, they can release eight brand new character DLCs, right? One representing each side, which will make two characters for each side, right? Brand new spanking characters, eight brand new characters. Two for Ruby, two for um, Blaze Blue, two for Under Night Ember, and two for Persona. But no, they're not thinking that way. They're thinking of the cash grab, quick money. Because it's not already obvious that they're not thinking that way. And then they're like, you know something? If we had English dub, maybe they'll change. Maybe they'll want to come back. But I, I don't get it. You have this time, you have this small time window arc system works. I mean, Team Blue, you have this small time window. How is it possible that you got English dub, but then you couldn't do it for cent Central Fiction? And you had almost a similar small time window. Oh man, the excuses are so lame, are so very lame. And there'll be people out there to defend what they're doing, by the way. <laughs> That's the crazy part. There'll be people out there saying, oh, it, it, they didn't have the time, it, it's development, it, the time restraint, all this bullshit. Okay, let's be real about it. All right, is Arc System Works paying anyone to defend them? No, they're not, as far as I'm concerned. And I'm calling it on how I see it, and I see what they're doing right now is nonsense. Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle is a mess. And what Maury's doing is damage control. If that cannot be already seen. He's wearing a hoodie. He's wearing some shades. Looking kind of shady. Grinning here and there. Kind of laughing a bit. He's like, hey, you know, I'm going to give you two free DLC characters. But the 18, you know what? I'm not going to talk about here. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe maybe I could slide them, you know, with a price. You know, but let, let's move away from that. And by the way, support this game. Give me your money. Mori, why you just didn't say give me your money? Why you just didn't walk out with a sword with a big ass dollar sign on it? Come on, man. Who are you trying to play here? Who? Who? Jeez, I, I, I don't know how obvious, it, it, if it wasn't already blatantly obvious, what Mori was doing. Clearly, he doesn't care. He's doing what he has to do. That's a part of his job. He's damage control. He's trying to save face so he can at least make some sales off this game. 
Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle is an incomplete product at release. Point blank, plain simple. And I also want to make this clear. Our system work ain't the only one doing this kind of practice. Many other companies have been doing this kind of practice for quite some time now. But when it happens with fighting games, it's very noticeable. And I've seen people do comparisons, right? Some people will say, oh, well, you know, Street Fighter V did it. You know, get Blaze Blue Cross Tie Battle Pass. Okay, let me repeat this. Street Fighter V, Blaze Blue Cross Tie Battle. Let that sink in real quick. Street Fighter V, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. I'm going to give you guys some time, uh, some seconds to think that through. Did, did it sink in yet? Did, did you not get what, what's going on there? Did, did it not go through? Okay, let me, let me explain it to make this easier. Street Fighter is a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. Blaze Blue's name, Cross Tag Battle, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, that name says it all. It's a crossover game. Two different kind of games, basically. Yes, they both fighters, but Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle is somewhat of a celebration. It's crossing over with different franchises. By default, the roster should be bigger. Okay, as for Street Fighter V, there's no defending what Capcom's done with that game. When Street Fighter V released, yes, it was a mess. It was a train wreck of a game when it released. And given years, a couple years later, they released Arcade Edition, and it's decent. It's okay. It's better now than what it was back then. That's for damn sure. But at the end of the day, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle is a crossover. Street Fighter V is a fighting game. Yes, they're both fighting games, but Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle is a crossover, meaning that there's different franchises facing off. Street Fighter is just Street Fighter, but they have Final Fight characters. No, Jack, they're in the same universe. Two different things. Jeez, I, I, I just don't get how people don't understand that. I really don't. Put it like this, I'm gonna make it a little bit more easier. If Marvel, no, excuse me, I'm not even going to mention Marvel's Capcom Infinite because right now that's on a dying slope. Let's hypothetically, because it doesn't exist yet, Capcom vs. SAK3 was to announce. If Capcom was to ever do a Capcom vs. SAK3, the roster will have to be bigger because two already exist. Now, some will make the argument, well, when Marvel vs. Capcom 3 came out, the roster wasn't bigger. And you know something? It wasn't bigger because of many different reasons. Greed was the big one. Okay, and some will argue that it was because Marvel had a lot of say so with their characters, so apparently Capcom had restrictions. Whatever the case is, Marvel's Cap Country wasn't perfect either. But that roster for Marvel's Cap Country should have been bigger than two, that's for damn sure. And that's why Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is still a popular game. Because not only that has such a big roster, it's a very rememberable. So much craziness that happens in that game. Where Marvel's Cap Country, though it's somewhat rememberable, it's still a mess of a game in some ways and that's debatable depending on what side spectrum you want to think of it in but when it comes to blaze blue cross tag battle this game was a no-brainer this this in reality the the decisions behind it were so poorly made i, I don't get how hard would it would have been to add 10 characters to each side you could add 10 ruby characters 10 blaze blue characters 10 persona characters 10 Under Night In Birth characters. And then you could have released DLC with eight characters, brand spanking new characters, two for each side. That would have been smart. Smart. But that didn't happen. Instead, they want to sell you half the game when it releases and hope that you buy this trash. Because that's what it is. It's a vanilla game. Gotta be real about it. And it's pathetic. And they're like, oh, well, here's English dub. Here's some English dub. Too little, too late. In my opinion, that's what it is. I'm not supporting it. And I'm definitely not buying it. And I'm personally tired of seeing fighting games released like this. I mean, the only difference is, is that our system works was up front and said, hey, we're cutting half the roster. Where Capcom and other companies were sort of kind of shady about it. Well, Capcom has been, they got, they got their hands caught quite a bit. But they're learning somewhat. Somewhat over time, they've learned. They learned over time, somewhat. But man, I, I just don't understand. If, if I was to work out our system works, hypothetically, 
I would delay this game and then take those 20 DLC characters, add them to the base roster, which will make 40, and then do eight brand new characters for DLC. Okay? Easy. Easy. But they're not going to do that because they're going to use every excuse, every lie they could think of to release this game incomplete and release it as it is. And they're going to act like they care because that's a part of the marketing. That's a part of the damage control. We're going to act like they, they're going to act like they care. They really don't. They really don't. They view their audience as a dollar. And to me, what they, what they have done further confirms that. Maury made himself look like a joke in my opinion. What Maury looked like was a damn joke. As I said before, he's wearing a hoodie, wearing shades, looking shady. Plain and simple. And the transparency is not good enough. There's not good enough transparency with this whole thing. As I said before, what he's doing is damage control. And now I'm repeating myself. Because this whole damn thing's frustrating. This whole situation that our system works made with Team Blue is just ridiculous. So, as I said before, and I'll say it again, I'm not supporting this game. And I'm going to say this as well. I'm not telling y'all how to spend your money. If y'all want to go out there and support this game, do what you want to do. But if, you want, if you're asking my advice, my opinion, my suggestion is wait. Wait. There's probably going to be another version someday, maybe a couple months from now, maybe a year from now. It possi possibly can be called... Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle of Stan, or maybe Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle Ultramax, or whatever the hell they'll title it. But I'm pretty sure there's possibly going to be another version of this down the road if they decide to continue this. Anyways, I'm done here. I'm done talking about this whole Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle nonsense. Feel free to comment down below what you guys think about it. Do you, do you like what you heard? Do you not like what you heard? Feel free to comment down below in the comments and have fun. And do you agree with me? Feel free to drop a like in the video if you do. And if you don't, you can hit that dislike. I, I personally don't care. No offense. And as always, this is Ray Yuka here saying thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, got a lot of content here, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see here, of course. And as always, until next time, everyone, sayonara.